Commitment. Say the word, commitment. commitment. My money is my muscle. My money is my muscle. Commitment. commitment. My money is my muscle. My is my muscle. That's how you get there. That, it ain't no secret to building wealth, y'all. It ain't no secret. So my team get nervous when I say this, but I gotta say it because I need us to know truly it's possible. I'm standing in front of you now we're eight figures. My homie right there, we was in the pen together about eight years. We just sat on side the bed and talked to each other all the time. He texted me here and there and be like, bro, I always knew you had it in you. Because when we was in the pen, while we was doing this up, our dudes were doing that, you was reading, you was into it. You was fussing about the market. You was fussing about rich people and poor people. I I've been doing it. It just took a time before my information aligned with me taking action. Y'all with me? Ain't no secret, y'all. If you see somebody on Instagram saying, let me tell you the secret to this, immediately say, you lying. Because it ain't no secret. It's just information that you got to use and apply. How many of y'all done took the courses? You got all the notes, but you won't do none of the notes you took. Bet. So my people here, I need you to go in this 25 to 2,000. I need you to be somewhere between 2,000. If you're in the lower part, if you're in the upper part, I need you to be somewhere between 5,000 and 7,000 every month. Like, we can't second guess this. Y'all with me? You know what level you on. I'm telling you this for a reason because this was the steps I took. When me and my home was building the power plants and the stadiums, I went from here to here to here. Now I just be dumping. 80% of my money is in the stock market. 80% of it. Why? Because I still got the residue of what I come from in me. Some of the bad habits, if you just let the money sit there, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go do some broke person stuff. And the reason why I say broke person stuff is not because of the financial part. It's about the mindset part. Y'all with me? I, listen, a prophet once said, if you broke, you drove. If you paid, you got buku places to go. A great prophet once said, <laughs> if you broke, you drove. If you paid, you got buku places to go. How many of us, when we get the money, we won't go everywhere? You riding the AC up. You ain't got no, what you doing? I'm just riding. I'm about to go run up in the mall. I don't really want nothing. All right, so we here. So can we commit to this? Can we commit to this? Can we commit to this? All right, cool. Let's get into this now. Access. So I paid to buy, get in rooms with people who knew more than me. Now, I'm not telling you to do that step until you are ready. What does that look like, bro? So this looks, so for me, I'll tell you, I paid a man $55,000 to teach me something I didn't know. I also paid a business mogul $40,000 for a week in class. Both classes the information I got from it took me to another level, helped me make more money. You with me? So watch this. I'm not telling you to do that. This is a level that everybody not going to be ready for, but at some point you got to get here. Because orthodox education gives you ordinary and average results. If you think I'm lying, has what they taught you in school helped you become a millionaire yet? But has what, you, what they taught you in school helped you spend a million dollars already? Don't get you there. So I studied successful people and I figured out, yo, I need to go and watch this. In both situations, it was always one piece of information that changed the game for me. It wasn't a whole bunch of information. It was one thing. 
It's always one thing that moved the needle. All right, and the last thing is assets. So watch this. The goal should always to be have more money in your investing account than you have in your closet. I got more money invested than I got on a house. I got more money invested than I got in my closet. I got more money invested than I got in jewelry because I don't wear that like that. I got more money invested than anything in my life because that looks better than me. I would rather be wealthy than look wealthy. I would rather be wealthy than to look it. You catch me in Atlanta all the time. I got on something similar to this because it's hot in New Orleans and it's hot in Houston. I got the legs out. <laughs> if you call me any other time, I got my jogging pants on. I wear it religiously. You feel me? Now, I don't got nothing wrong with you wearing what you want well, but for me, I would rather be it than look it. We're in a society where they taught us it's cool to look it and not be it. We luxury broke, but ass, we luxury rich, but ass that poor. You with me? All right, let's go a little further. Let's go a little further. We trapping? All right, the next thing I'm gonna teach you about is this. How many people know exactly how the stock market works? Now we're gonna get into this. How many people, raise your hand, if you know exactly how it works? If you don't know how it works, raise your hand. All right, cool, let's go. Let's go. All right, so watch this. The first thing we're gonna get into is this. Stocks and shares are the same. They use interchangeably. This is a company. These are shares. By itself, it's a stock. In order to build wealth, you need these two things. You need equity and you need cash flow. Equity equals ownership. You cannot build wealth without these two things. We good? What's the two things we need to build wealth? Equity and cash flow. We need what? Equity and cash flow. And equity is what? Ownership. Equity is what? Ownership. A stock or shares represent ownership in a company. We got that right there? We got that right there? All right, cool. Watch this. A stock pays us in two ways. Equity and dividends. We understand that? Some stocks pay us in both of them. So, watch me, y'all. A stock is an individual, shares are pieces of the company, right? So watch this. The stock pay us in equity or dividends, and some pay us in both. The easiest way to become a billionaire in America is to get a company and then make it go public. So I'm not saying that, I don't know if you want to be a billionaire or not. I don't know. That ain't, that ain't my life, right? I love because it's... I don't like what, what you got to do to become it, in my mind. Like, I got to build this big business. I got to have all these people. The 10 people that I got working with me is enough. We can scale that. We can impact people. I'm cool. But this is how they become billionaires. Watch this. So let's say this is my company. Wall Street looks like us now network. So here's what we do. I go to the bank. I tell the bank that I want to go public. The bank, J.P. Morgan Chase, Morgan Stanley, what they're going to do is say, okay, we're going to underwrite, which means they're going to go inside the bank, they're going to look at, I'm mean, going to go inside the company, they're going to look at all of the finances of the company. Y'all with me? Then they're going to say, this company is worth this much money. How much of this company do you want to put on the stock market? You with me? They're going to say, all right, well, I want to put 40% of the company on the stock market or whatever the percentage is. They'll say, okay, cool. This 40% is worth this much as a stock and this much as a brand. So if the company worth $100 million, they say we'll take 40%. They take the 40% and break it down into portions and say, okay, if we take this part of the pie, we take this part of the pie, 
break it down to 1 million, 2 million, 3 million shares, those shares are worth, let's say, $15. Everybody with me so far? Did I go over anybody's head? Everybody watch me, right? Watch this. So this is what they do. They understand that the key is not to go into debt. So what they do is they take the shares, sell them to us, and the money we give them in the beginning for the shares, they take it. They take that money and grow the business. Watch this. The value that they can grow the business at causes these shares to go up in price. Y'all with me? You with me? Why is this? So Trap, how did they become a billionaire? Why is this? They take some of that money and go buy 30 to 40 percent, at least 40, at least 40 percent of their company, they'll own it in shares. So here's what they do. Amazon was $47 in 1997 when it IPO'd. In 2022, the stock was $3,500. So imagine buying something at $47 and holding it, and then it's worth $3,500, and you got 2 million shares of it. That's how you become a billionaire in America. It's the easiest way. For us, I don't got to create a billion-dollar business. I can just invest in them. You feel me? Question. How many people are on Instagram? How many people are on Facebook? How many people are on Threads? Watch this. Mark Zuckerberg right now is worth 90 billion dollars. This year alone, he gained 50 billion of it. Only because Facebook stock went from $89 to right now it's two, uh -uh. it's uh, 230, to 310, 310. So from 89 to 313 to 310, he was able to gain $60 billion. Did he do any hard work? I'm not saying it ain't hard work to build that business, but what happened was his hard work was adding value to the business. When people have a good feeling about the business, they do what? They buy the stock. When they buy the stock, what happens? If you on Facebook, if you on Instagram, if you on threads, why you don't own Facebook stock? 